Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. Uh, I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. We are back on our Tightening the Belt Base, and uh, I almost completed this setup here. We just need uh, to turn on some power, and I'm not actually sure if we'll have enough power. I think we might. I meant to expand it, but I think we may actually have enough. Uh, so on the last stream, uh, what we did is uh, I need to go over there and actually put down a radar, but we got the builds pretty much finished out, and then we uh, got the coal brought in, and we got iron brought in, and we got it hooked up to the smelters. So we have coal coming in right here, and uh, I did decide to hook it up to this patch, um, or half of this patch at least, uh, and then it comes over, it's just a one-way track, one train, uh, and it comes here for the plastic, and then some goes over to uh, fuel the other trains, speaking of which, uh, this actually needs some fuel as well. So let's see how we can fuel this somewhat decently. It's going to be... Is there a better way to fuel it maybe on this end? I feel like this end would be a better place to fuel it from. So we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, so this guy comes over and let's throw some radars down here. I'll throw one down here. And uh, we should also probably put turrets. I doubt we'll get attacked at this particular spot, but you never know, and I would hate for this to all be destroyed. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll come over, place some turrets here. We did place that radar, right? Yeah. Um, so we have the red build. It's all set to go aside from the circuits and the copper, which just needs power, uh, but we've got this tied in. Uh, what I did is I just did uh, unloading four and then a four lane, uh, four lane balancer just outputting three. Uh, and then same thing here, but outputting two. A uh, one important note though, guys, is that if you do do something like this, uh, to do uh, one, like do it from both splitters. You know, don't do like this belt and this belt, because then this side isn't actually doing anything. Uh, you want to make sure to grab from both splitters. Uh, now this one, of course, is a little uneven uh, because there's two. Uh, there are, of course, four to three balancers, but uh, in my experience and other people who I play with um, generally consider four lane balancers to be best um, like this. So uh, you it's, you know just do like pulling three or two or whatever from it rather than doing some wonky like four to three balancer. So uh, it's kind of just personal preference. Uh, we just find they work a bit better. Uh, but again, you know if you want to do do it the other way. So we just powered this section on. So this is going to send copper, and uh, this should. Uh, create a full blue belt or close to it uh, once we do you can see there so this guy's gonna come down and this makes cable now one thing to know about this build from mojo is that um, some of these are actually different different beacon amounts um, due to the fact there's a space between here this was space where this inserter is uh, it, it makes the beacon offset not quite correct so some of these are actually faster than others but it shouldn't affect the output theoretically uh, so this is going this way or that way now uh, let's go ahead and clear actually let uh, I was gonna say we can nuke it but that <laughs> it seems like a very precarious spot to be trying to nuke stuff so let's uh, let's just do that uh, bring this through and, uh, and yeah, so this is going to be the red output. We changed this around. This was going the other direction, but we of course want it going this direction. So we'll do that. And then we just need to turn on the circuits. Uh, hopefully power will be okay. This is a fair bit of power uh, usage that'll be kicking on here. Uh, and I think we'll throw another radar down actually over here. So I did, you know, I did want to wait till episode to turn this on for you guys so you can kind of see it in action. Um, so let's go ahead and just, let me double check. Okay, sometimes I plug things in the wrong place, so we could have had a bit of a mess, but we're gonna do that, and it is using a fair bit, but we still have a, a, quite a bit in reserve. Um, so here we go, so this comes over, and we also need to power on this thing. Okay, so that needs another power pole, we'll just line that up there. Uh, so this guy is, you know, I already explained this build, and uh, this runs through, so these are full belts. As long as we can keep things supplied on this end, let me just make sure, okay, that is, I'm making sure these are on manual, or automatic. Uh, we do have the stacker, and it would be, and we have these like additional lanes here. It would potentially be advantageous to add a second train of each type, I think, potentially. 
Um, it looks like I forgot a connection in here somewhere. These stupid trees, man. <laughs> they always get ya. Alright, there we go. So I'm not sure if this is a full, this is two full blue belts. So I put a splitter here because what we can do, um, I don't, this doesn't use two full blue belts. It uses a full blue belt, um, kind of like the plastic. But I think if we output, uh, if we need to, we can output this onto the bus. Like if we're having shortages or something of green circuits themselves on the bus, um, we could output that there. Uh, but once this comes in here, this should start creating stuff and we, we should hopefully see a decent um, uptick now. There, there are obviously these belt buffers with the plastic and a little bit with the circuits. Um, so we won't know for sure. I don't think this is actually enough plastic to be completely honest with you. Um, so we'll probably have to upgrade that, but we need to let the belt buffers run out to actually see what, what that's gonna look like. And here come the red circuits. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different here. Um, so this guy is gonna come down and what we're gonna do is we're going to do that. This is a just a normal belt. Wow, okay. So this could actually probably be turned into red belt. I don't know that the whole thing needs to be blue belt, but um, so we're not making any more modules, which means I probably need to turn up the limit. It looks like it. Let's just bump this. Let's just go a thousand because we we need to uh, start building this stuff up. So these are all going to be consumed. Um, but what we're going to do is actually, I need to change this. So I actually changed my mind. I didn't want to do it this way. Um, I mean, that can stay red splitter. So this is going to come over. Instead of splitting this down here like that, what we're going to do, because this is all, that's for science and that's for rocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this line. And uh, I actually made some of this red belt, even though some of it was yellow belt. That's a little bit dumb on my part. Uh, but so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing now. We could actually feed that other lane of circuits we have into this. That's certainly an option if this lane of circuits doesn't seem to be able to keep up with things. Uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult. I think if we underground some, something like... Not quite there, like here. Uh, back this up, and then so that's that one. So if we instead of instead of having that tie in, if we have this come over a little bit, and then we'll have it merge. So like there. Let's have this guy. Mm, actually. New plan. So that's gonna go like that. Um, I know that just kind of borked stuff. We'll have to clean this up a little bit. Make sure we don't do that. Come on, game. Let me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Stop it. There we go. That should clean things up. We just need to clear that out. There we go. Whew. All right. So let's get that. Uh, so this one is going to come over. He's going to merge something like that. And then this one somehow needs to cuz what what could what could happen here is we could It's going to be a little bit wonky, but I think it's certainly doable. Um, cuz what we'll do is we'll take one of these and we'll just do that. Um, so that's on that side, which is not actually great. So this actually shouldn't even be side loading. This should just go down like that. Because uh, in this one, wherever our red circuits are, these guys can come over and they'll merge just like that. Uh, now some there were comments that like some the output on some of the green circuit things were broken because I was like having them output onto an underground the wrong way or something. Uh, I guess I'll need to go check on that. Uh, this guy, we certainly don't need a full blue belt for this, so, I mean, we can just feed it one for now, I guess, but it's going to be pretty excessive. I mean, a yellow belt of green certainly can't keep up with a yellow belt of this, or, or a blue belt of this, rather. 
Um, I guess we'll just make this all blue belt. Dang it. Uh, but yeah, we can take the, probably that extra belt of circuits. Um, let's get rid of that. And grab this one, do that. Don't know why. What? I don't understand. Why is this not working? Oh, because there's green green circuits got mixed in there. Duh. Um, yeah, so green circuits are the problem. I think what we actually want to do is not that. Um, this should still be fine. Um, what we'll do is we will actually... Br let's bring over this other lane of green circuits, which... Hopefully I can nuke this without hitting my builds. <laughs> I, I was stuck on a tree. I was getting nervous there for a second. I, I didn't think I was going to make it out. Uh, all right. So let's bring this guy over. So yeah, the outputs you guys said were broken somewhere in here. I know I didn't fix them. Is it this one? If I, if I drain this. Yeah, that can't actually output because it hit, it's hitting the other end of the flap there. This one can, I think. Um, well, this is how the build came, I think. So, I'm not really sure how, how to fix this. Yeah, this one isn't actually going to be working. Hmm. May have to think on that for a minute. I mean, this is a very tight build. There's not much room to play around with stuff. Yeah, I'm not actually quite sure how I'm going to work that. I th I think that's the only one that's broken. Yeah. Dang it. Only we had a little bit more room here. I mean, maybe. Well, wait, hold up. What if we go here to there? That could maybe work. If we do that, and then we take this... No, because you have to... Yeah, that's not going to work. I don't think. I mean, it can work. I, I'm going to have to move the power pole, so it's not going to be the best thing ever. Because uh, this thing can't... See, it can reach. And that would fix the problem. But now we're going to have to... Uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to be pretty. I mean, it's going to be very... <laughs> Very spaghetti-ish, um, but that actually works. That should fix the problem. Uh, hopefully it's not too noticeable. Uh, okay, so let's grab this, and we'll just clear out the rest of these trees that are in the way. I could have sworn I put logs in my auto trash. Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's bring this on over. Looks like we're about to run out of belt. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this one and feed it into the other half here. And that should be good to go. Uh, so now we should hopefully be able to do science and modules at the same time. And uh, we're getting very close to actually starting the mega base itself. Because uh, we got most, we got, I say most, we got the main builds worked out. Uh, green circuits and smelting. Red circuits, I'm um, still not quite sure if I want to use that build or not. Uh, there's some other builds I want to look into as well. Uh, but... You know, we got those things down, we're building up modules, we're, we have beacons already, we have furnaces. Uh, so really, the, the only main thing is just like the planning, figuring out where to put the stuff, and then also uh, also just more modules. It's it's really deceiving how many modules you'll need. So let's, uh, let's just get this turned on as quickly as we can. Get these circuits on over here. So this guy is gonna have to come like that. This is, luckily these blue belts can reach a very long distance. Um, match it up. Like that, and then this we never actually ended up using, which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, let's just clear these so I don't keep running into them. Stupid trees. Run this belt over, and hook him in right over here somewhere uh, just for symmetry's sake do that 
This one hopefully can reach this whole distance. Great. It literally is one short. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, I don't know if I want to underground this or underground this. It doesn't really matter. I guess we'll underground this one. Okay. So there's that. And then this guy, oh, this guy we can just thread in right here. And boom, there we go. Go away, rocks. You're almost as bad as the trees. All right, so there's that. That'll hook in, that'll turn that on, and we can start doing some more science as well. Uh, just more mining productivity, I think, is a good place to uh, continue putting our resources. Um, so this thing should be good to go. I'm not sure how the trains are keeping. I mean, this is all backed up. So again, we can't tell where the bottlenecks are until it really kicks on. Uh, but that should be good for that. Uh, in regards to our module base over here, uh, this thing has 1.3k modules, which is pretty darn good. Uh, the only slight shortage is the red circuits, it looks like. Um, but even so, most of these are working, so we are, we're really close, guys. Uh, someone on my last stream asked, like, what episode number I think the Mega Base itself will start. I said 60. I think it's actually going to be before that, because uh, this is episode 54. Uh, I think, I'm trying to think uh, in my head, I really, I really do believe that within the next episode or two, we can start working, working on the Mega Base stuff, and, uh, you know, figure out, because that's, like, it gets tricky because you need to figure out, like, what amount of science you're going to do, um, and then, you know, like, how many belts that actually equates to of science, and then how many belts of ingredients for that stuff it equates to. Um, doing doing belt-based stuff like that is just a lot more complicated in general, which, uh, I mean, I'm not really complaining, it's just, you know, it's, it's true. Uh, so, uh, let's let's check. Uh, I didn't put. I need to put a radar up here. So we have half this patch tap. We certainly don't need the whole thing right now. Um, everything's backed up, like I said. Um, but this should be making modules at full blast at this point, which it is. Um, the, my, actually, my guess would be that blue circuits may become a bottleneck, if anything. Um, and we are having some circuit problems for blue circuits a little bit. So if anything, I would actually suspect blue circuits maybe be a bottleneck. Um, but these things are cranking away, same speed that the others are. We are actually now having power problems. So that's going to be the next step, uh, is working on power. I have a couple minutes left. This is shorter than I expected. I suppose we could add a little bit more power here. I, I, I think last time I did power, I did redo it so it's actually a correct, like, 2 by in or 2 by x um, setup for the, for the reactors. I need more inventory space, dude. I don't know why I have, like, random junk. Um, okay, so let's grab another reactor. Uh, let's just grab some heat pipes, more heat pipes. I think the pipe setup and stuff up there is still pretty messy, unfortunately. Hello, game? Come on. These, uh, I keep getting stuck on stuff, man. This is the one thing. I can understand why people use squeak through. I personally don't use it kind of for the same reason I don't use long reach. Uh, but I, I can understand why people would. Getting stuck on stuff constantly, but here, is uh, not, really, not really too fun. Uh, so what's going on here? Is this stuff uh, stopped? No? Making sure we have enough fuel. They're all running. All right, all right, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, we, oh yeah, this is kind of messy. Yeah, it's kind of wonky. Uh, so what we need to do now. Great. <laughs> Dang it. Um, so what we'll need to do is let's, what? Oh, power poles, duh. We need power pole, all right. So, let's do that. I don't need, like, random three rails and crap. So throw that in there, and now we'll just do this, do that, and then this guy, like that, and like that. Boom, boom. And we'll need another chest here. Boom, boom. And then request, and request, and then here, just do something like that. Um, so we added that. 
which I keep having to like recalculate how many uh, theoretical reactors this is to figure out how many more things I need to add. I guess I can just add like another row and just be, and just do that for now. <laughs> uh, so those, how am I how am I doing this again? This pipe's getting a bit long. I'm a little bit nervous about this. In fact, I think. These are barely hot. Why is this not? What? I don't get it. These are 500 degrees. Like, I don't understand. Dude. What? What? Why is our power going? Okay. Like, these are 500 degrees, right? Temperature. Wait, there's two temperatures? Oh my god, I feel like an idiot. Okay, are all these... Yeah, this is the actual temperature. Why are these not working if this is 500 degrees, dude? I feel like this heat pipe's too long, is, uh, is what the problem is. And we're out of water spots, too. Yikes. Um... And our power is slowly declining more and more. Well then, uh, this is not good. The temperature is fine. Okay, well we're like out of water. I already reduced the length of this. Stupid pipes. What? Okay. What is going on here, guys? Am I just like super dumb? Water is infinite in this game, and I have never heard of wells being limited by, like, how close they are to each other. What the hell is going on here? That's no longer a valid placement? What the frick you talking about? Did I, like, unlandfill this or something? What? Oh, great. Now there's just no water there at all. Oh, my goodness. You stupid pump. And there's like literally just no water anywhere. Great. <laughs> I think I'm gonna load an autosave before I tore that up. I don't understand. Like I didn't, I don't think I touched this. Like what, did they change like how the land merges or something? Like in some update that I didn't notice? Why is this only pumping 20? Alright guys, fill me in here on what I'm missing, because I don't think I've ever seen this happen. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to load an autosave, seeing as I just completely broke our power system. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it guys. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my uh, little bit of a struggle here. I really am uh, quite stumped, I don't believe I've ever seen this happen, or know why it's happening. Because um, I'm like 98% sure I didn't touch any of this, or any of the land under it. Wow, okay, so yeah, let me know if, if you know what's wrong, uh, <laughs> but uh, we need to find some more water, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out for next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, leave your thoughts below, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.